Hi! In this video, I am going to show you how to make your tubes for the festive pumpkin. Follow the directions in your pattern uh, to cut the number of strips that you will need for these tubes. But before I go over that, I just want to go over some other things that you will need for this project. Besides fabric, you should consider what you're going to decorate it with. Now these are decorated with lights and little uh, leaf brads. You can use brads or lights or buttons or whatever, but as you're selecting your fabric, consider what you're going to be using to decorate it. So this floral right here is very good if you're going to use just lights. But you may want to consider something that reads a single color if you're going to do buttons or brads or something that you want to stand out. Additionally, you'll need to have fabric for your binding and your bow, or you can use ribbon for your bow. The next thing that you're going to need is cotton batting. Now, Bozel has pre-cut uh, their cotton batting uh, and put it on a roll so it's pre-cut to width and it's rolled up on a roll. Sometimes on this roll you will find that they are rolled up with two layers. You're only going to use one layer for this project. If you want to cut your own strips you can uh, make yourself a roll by taking those strips, butting the ends of those strips, and seam taping them, batting seam taping them together. This is a single sided fusible tape. You just place it on top of where you've batted the ends of your strips together and iron it. Now I do uh, put batting seam tape on both sides it just makes it feel a little more even to me. So now on to filling your, your fabric strips with batting. You are going to cut your fabric strips two and a half inches wide, the full width of your fabric, so it's 42 to 44 inches. And again, the pattern will tell you how many strips that you will need for your project. Take the batting and place it on the back of your fabric strip. Fold the raw edges all the way to the center so that they meet in the center. Then you're going to fold that in half so that the open edge is on the right hand side. Slide it over to your sewing machine. One of the things that I have been using lately is a edge stitching foot. It's a foot that has a little flange that sits between the two feet on the foot. Um, if you use this you do need to position your needle all the way left so that as you're stitching you're stitching left of center. So I'm going to raise my presser foot and slide this right in underneath here. I also use the needle down uh, capability of the sewing machine when I stitch. And I already have a tube in here. You can see that tube. So I am chain piecing my tubes. So I'm going to slide that in under the presser foot and then as I stitch the flange actually runs right up against this edge. So I'm going to have a nice straight seam very close to the edge. So again, fold your raw edges all the way to the center. Fold that in half. If you don't have a edge stitching foot, uh, you can use just a regular presser foot and you want to attempt to sew very straight, very close to the edge. Like that. Now if you can see this seam, 
you'll see how close it is to the edge and it's very nice and straight. That's it.